Yes, I'm Donna Lopez, and this is your channeled message for mm -hmm, where are we at here? June 21st through to the 28th. All right. So let's see what they're going to have here for us. Lots of pink light. So beautiful. So much love coming forward. Just being heaped up and piling over. Just tons and tons of love coming forward. It feels so nice. Yeah. A lot of good... Uh, you know, think of uh, rose quartz energy. Just beautiful love, love, love building. I hear lessons learned. And I also, um, it's like, hmm, for some reason they're showing me like a grid. And they're coloring in each one of these little boxes in the grid. It's, I, I, and I feel like, oh, I accomplished that, I did that, I did this, and this was this. And I just see you filling all these things in. But then I see you getting a lot more creative, like, oh, I want to go over here. I want to create a design. So uh, I, rather than working kind of methodically and linear, linearly, I see you being more fluid, more creative and uh, with the things that you want to do. Mm -hmm. A lot of transformation happening right now. So uh, welcome to the new world, all right, because when you come out of that cocoon and uh, you know you're birthing something new it feels really wonderful yeah, it helps you appreciate though why you were in that uh, time of uh, self-discovery and uh, let's say getting rid of the warts all right all right let's see here hmm. Hmm. I'm just hearing done 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 but not like in done, done, done. <laughs> More as in done, I did that, I did that, I did that. So I see you kind of making sure some things were done, completed, uh, finalized. Also, some of this feels like around real estate or a home or land. So um, it's completing some projects or some things that needed to be completed. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> for a lot of you, it's, um, I see you're in a very elevated space in your life. Um, where you are able to see everything around you and how other people are managing their lives or doing their lives and you have this higher vision of how all of this is working and um, but I, I also see that you are recognizing how some people are just how they are just distracting themselves uh, a little bit of herd mentality like uh, a lot of people just do things to distract themselves from being with themselves. A, a lot of people are just herd mentality. They're doing what the rest of the herd is doing. You're just in this observation point. But I also feel that you are building momentum because I feel that they are, you're choosing some new things for yourself because you're recognizing what am I doing that I do just for distraction? What am I doing just so I can be part of a herd, part of a group, you know, like is that in, t in integrity with who I am? Is that the best place for me? Um, you know, just, just, and I hear something about ideals. You're, you're also looking at your ideals. Like, um, is that idealistic or is that possible? What I, what I, the way I've been working within my own life. Uh, the one thing I do see that you're recognizing, though, is like you're noticing nothing but the clear skies and the beautiful golden sunlight that is coming in and just it's a portal. The sun is a portal and it is a beautiful portal. And I see you just like knowing that that is a portal uh, from whence we came and that is the divine light. It is amazing. Uh, just a recognition of who you really are, what you really are, and where you came. Yep. Yep. A lot of us have a, a nice uh, relationship with, uh, I want to say, our, our terrestrial, extraterrestrial um, cousins. And uh, we have that sweetness. And uh, you're also recognizing that as well. Hmm. I do hear, it's kind of funny though, because I hear somebody, it's like they're going, I don't want to be lazy anymore. Like, I want to be more motivated. I want more momentum. So some of you are wanting to kind of build your energy up and like be, you know, get get on with things a little bit more. Learn, grow, become, unfold, things of that nature. A lot of others of you are using this time to get organized, clean things up, clean, clear, and organize things. 
so that, uh, you know, whatever we do outwardly here, you know, we're doing it inwardly here, all right? So watch what you're drawn to do during your day, and you'll realize, oh, that's what's going on inside of me right now. Uh, for some of you, too, they're taking my selenite here and putting it right to the third eye. There's a lot of healing coming into your third eye region. It's like you're starting to see things as um, growth and as um, spiritual lessons for people. Uh, not spiritual punishment, but that uh, the, light of, the light of God is on everyone and everything. That everything is harmonized for the good of all. And you're seeing the love and the lesson. Rather than, you know, recently my husband and I were somewhere and somebody was saying something about a group of people that they did not have comfort with. And the person shared, you know, my God doesn't believe in that. And, you know, it was such an exclusive or an exclusion of this other group of people that were really just, you know, growing in their life with where they were at. You know, it, it just, and it was basically an intolerance, but it's so funny because you, you don't realize how many people don't have that tolerance for others. And I, this is what I'm seeing is that this higher tolerance for others and understanding the lesson. What is the lesson? You know, not the punishment. What's the understanding we're supposed to be getting here? And like cash could be another me. You are another me. Thereby, by the grace of God, go I, you know do all these little analogies forever but um, yeah I hear a refresh for a lot of you it's a refresh you're relearning what you thought you knew but you're learning it in a different way because you're realizing you're actually seeing it intuiting it now you actually get it like oh I get it now mm -hmm. really beautiful all right <clears throat> let's see what else do they have let's see if there's anything else for that whole week hmm? Just be a kinder you. Just be a kinder you. It's it's really a beautiful week of love and being a kinder you. All right, I'm going to pull a card here. It says, inner beauty. I open my eyes and my heart. I'm sorry. I open the eyes of my heart and I direct my gaze to the light within every being. Personality and physical appearance are in the image of man. Beauty, goodness are in the image of God. Oh, my goodness. Do they not just come in so beautifully? Look at that. That's just what I was talking about. All right. Let me pull a different one here. Mm. It says, I enter into the light. No matter what happens, I will look beyond the immediate event to what is real. And this way, I cannot help but stay positive. I know that a door will open for me. I silence the fears that make me doubt. I align with God, and I move forward in confidence. I believe in life. I believe in myself, and I grow in the light. There we go. Beautiful. All right, everyone. Have a great week.